I forgot a couple things. The, the pecs and the flooring. So on our standard flooring, we're gonna have a floor. It looks like what it's actually a vinyl floor, but this is actually commercial grade vinyl. So it's gonna be having a very thick profile um, and really withstand the changes in temperature. So temperature changes in a, in a tiny house are very common. You know, we're gonna have tiny houses that are gonna be 9,000 feet above sea level and just very, very cold temperatures and some that are um, very, very hot temperatures. They're also not necessarily insulated in the foundation as well. We can't always predict what that's going to look like. And what we've seen over the years is that the water lines can freeze if not properly installed and cared for. So here's what we've done as an alternative. Instead of running our water lines, and we use PEX, this is a, a plastic bendable line. Now, if it's metal, it can break and be a real problem in your house. We're going to run these inside the walls of the house. So that means that there's less chance that they're going to be exposed to the colder elements. In addition, because they're running around the house in the back room now, we're putting a heater in every back room so that you can heat the room. And then the extra step, and I'll show you the next one, is that when we put that baseboard on the walls down below, we're going to put slots in the baseboard so the ambient heat from the back bedroom is going to go into that water line space. So they're going to be room temperature and not outside temperature or wall temperature.